I haven't really taken much time lately to do things for myself and to feed myself. Lately I've been feeling like I'm just kind of going through the motions and I get trapped in the cycle of doing what's in front of me and being happy enough of that. And I'm not actually working on myself or working towards my goals or feeding my passion and it's really beginning to get to me. As you get older, it's much easier to forget about the things that make you happy because you're so focused on work and paying the bills, paying rent. So often we put ourselves to the wayside and put our passions and hobbies on the back burner. I feel like too many of us are used to this and are just happy with the bare minimum. I'm trying to be mindful and remember to make myself happy first. Sometimes the missing piece in life is the small things that make you happy no matter how small they are. I've skated for longer than I haven't skated in my life and I've skated so long that it feels like second nature to me. Once I kind of took that away from myself, I felt like I wasn't moving. I felt like I was stuck and I didn't feel like I was feeding or making progress towards my goals or anything like that. It's much easier to go and skate with your friends because you really don't have to think that much. You can just jump in the car with a skateboard and meet at the first park or the first spot. But when it comes down to skating by yourself, just really being on your board and pushing around, I feel like a lot of skateboarders often forget the importance of just being on your board and being connected and kind of soul skating in a way. They say if you want to get good at something, you need to put in your thousand hours. And I keep forgetting that if you want to be good on the board, you need to put the time and energy into being out skating. It can't just be a once every two weeks, once a month kind of thing. So basically an update for you guys. If you've been watching the channel, you've noticed that I do a little bit of screen printing and I got a screen made for these boards. I got a bunch of blanks. I, it's really, it's really shameful because I got like two or three decent prints on these and then the ink dried in the screen, but check it out. This is the, if that'll focus there, that's what I got printed. So just a single color print and this is the best one. I think this is like the second one or third one I did. I use like the hardcore NASDAQ 9700 series, which is lacquer, which is what you're meant to use. I could have just used like water-based or acrylic, but I wanted it to last on the board. So as you can see, you can scratch it. And it's for skateboarding though. It's gonna wear off anyway, but that's the best one I got. I was really bummed out. I was super bummed out because the purple is a sick color. And then this one didn't come out as good as the other one. You know, so I've got a bunch of these. I probably will skate them. Once I started kind of getting to these two here, I just gave up because the rest of the image is cool. It's just where it says evening, you can't really read. And same with this one. Same deal. So what I may do is I may do like a, um, you know when people leave stuff at skate parks and they leave a little package and they're like, if you know where this spot is, I left a package and then people can go and find it. I might do that. The screen is absolutely rooted. Um, the ink dried in the screen and that's all she wrote. So if I want to do this again, I'll have to get another screen made and I'll probably use a more user-friendly type of ink for the boards. I'm out in the bush right now. Brought the shoddy out. It's been a minute since I've shot the shoddy. I try to shoot it at least once a month or once every couple of months just so I'm not kind of rusty on it. But uh, yeah, I got one of those thrower things. I just got one earlier. I'll try to get a few more for you. So I'm operating as a one-man team today, throwing the skeet and blowing it away in the sky. This is just a home defense shotgun too, 18.5 inch barrel. This isn't like a hunting shoddy. Hunting shoddies have longer barrels. Okay, that went fucking terribly. Let me get another one. This is gonna be the one right here, okay? I don't know if you guys got it. I hit it at least two times. I got it, but I think it was off camera because it shot out that way. So I've got to be conscious to throw it over here. Oh, look at my posture. Pull my shoulders back. Got some cans of paint here I'm going to line up. Maybe I'll do one at a time just to really savor the... savor the... Uh, Savor the goodness. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me get my shotty. All right, you ready? One in the pipe. Oop, there it goes. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna take a few steps back though. 
So I'm probably not going to be in frame, but uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at the colors. Look at the colors. I kind of want to do two at a time. It'll make a sick, really cool clip. What color should we do next? We have a black, but that's kind of boring. And then I have like a crimson red. I feel like this is a brown. Black, okay, so I might as well do the two blacks together. Double, this is a double, double whammy, double, double. Oh, <laughs> that one, <laughs> I didn't even see where the cans of paint went. It just evaporated into the ether. I got, I got that red left now. Yeah, I thought about throwing it in the air and shooting it, but I reckon that'd be quite hard to do. <sighs> Should I give it a crack? If it doesn't work, I'll just put it on the palette and shoot it. Maybe we'll do that. All right, here we go. Crimson red, and I'm gonna try shoot it in the air. Nah, better luck next time, eh? I'll try it like two or three more times. One in the chamber, one in the magazine, and Bit of fluff on that one. Hopefully it reloads. Fine. Um, yeah, hopefully I get this go. Otherwise it'd be embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I got it. It, blew, it was like a gender reveal party. Boom! So basically I haven't been doing a lot of skating. I've spent a lot of time off the board and I, I miss it a lot. As I mentioned earlier, it's like feeding my soul, being able to go and skate. And as you get older, the responsibilities of life, work, paying bills, paying your rent, uh, relationships and stuff, they all kind of take up very large pieces of our life, which is just the natural progression of life in general. But I've put skateboarding once again on the back burner and I need to be really mindful of not letting myself get in the way because apart from work and apart from relationships i have all the time in the world to go skate and i just let my head get in the way once again and i, I hate i hate like admitting this because there's been so many times on my channel where i've always had to like explain to you guys what's going on and it's always the same thing my overthinking and my anxiety gets to me and shuts me down but i just really need to push through and reap the benefits and the rewards you know what it's like like being at the park having a good session and then you kind of sit down and you like catch your breath and like rest for a minute and it's just a nice fuzzy warm feeling just being at the park watching people skate skating with a bunch of people like i skated all day today pretty much by myself got to hammock skated around talked to some people and it's like a little community that's just um yeah that's always kind of there. Like if you have a skateboard and you're a skateboarder, you can go anywhere in the world and make friends. And I feel like I'm getting too used to being in California and I'm getting too comfortable out here. I need to start pushing myself out of my comfort zone again. I'm um, not gonna lie, love being comfortable. I just asked my girlfriend to marry me. So I'm feeling really like, you know, lovey-dovey and comfy right now, but I need to not let that stop me from working on my own passions, my own goals, stuff like that. I myself will admit I'm the only one that is responsible. Like I said earlier, it's easier to go skate with friends, of course, but then you're still relying on someone else to go skate and hype you up and everything else. So I want to try to like really push myself to just go skate no matter what, even if I just go skate for a couple of hours and it's a red curb, something like that. I bitch and moan about, oh, I want to go, to, you know, I don't want to go skating unless we go to this sick park that's like perfect and brand new. I went and skated Cal Oaks today and you know that's a park from like the 2001 or something and i still had fun i still managed to like just ride my board and flow and have fun and i got to hem it and it just made me appreciate like a, a nicer skate park even more so that's a plan from now on is just going skating no matter what getting out of my head um, i did have new shoes which seemed to help a lot because the new shoes kind of got me in that feeling of like oh, i got new shoes like man i like my outfit today today's going to be a good day so i just need to pay more energy and more time and more attention into going skating and making videos because obviously I still want to chase this YouTube dream career, whatever you want to call it. That's, I, I still want to do that. I just need to pull my head in and make videos no matter what. I know a lot of the times you guys are like, just post whatever, like we're happy to watch it. And I love the support. Honestly, you guys are amazing. I'm stressing about the numbers too much because like the last video I made didn't get that many views, which is whatever. That's what happens when you don't post. That's what happens when you post once in every two months. So I'm trying to post more with my downtime. Be productive and just, yeah, 
continue lighting the flames in my belly. While I'm sitting here, I can see one of my abandoned um, clay skeets in a bush over there. Maybe I'll knock that one out before I leave today. I'm trying not to ramble on too much. I'm just trying to speak from the heart here, guys. That's another thing I need to be doing is like constantly researching and drawing. I have the space, I have, this, I have the screen printing press. I could buy blanks, but I just like get stuck in this comfortable. I just want to sit on the lounge and watch fucking TV. And it's so stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm quite frustrated within myself, guys. I don't know if you can notice that or not, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up and get out of Dodge before the trooper cobras come out of the bush here. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it heaps. Check out Evening Mob. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to step on my board more. Get on my board, get out of the house. Stop being such a little comfortable panty waist. So yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that junk up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger, man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this trigger, man, stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another rodeo.